I know everyone loves that intro because it's so cute and so fantastic. Uh, but yet we have complete opposite that's happening outside in the real world. But <laughs> yeah, that's why we ruin it. Like as soon as like you have all all of the the fun jingly music, we're like, yes, our modern technology and forthcoming future technology will be the end of our species. <laughs> I mean, you know, to be that direct, I mean, yeah, it was kind of, I mean, yeah. We, I mean, we, we did do a story and... about robots sniffing homeless people. Like, you want to talk about being direct, <laughs> right? Uh, I don't think it gets uh, uh, any less nuanced than that. So um, so this is, this is kind of old news, but it's new news at the same time because um, cause it's a cause and effect what happened. I don't know if people remember, like, last year there was a U.N. Council resolution that came, the United Nations uh, resolution came to stop killer robots, to stop the Terminator. I don't know if people remember that, like to stop countries from building the Terminator, and um, and and obviously the United States was against that, um, totally against not building the Terminator. We totally want to build Terminators as much as possible. I mean that Terminator um, music, man. Yeah, we want that in loudspeakers outside. That's gonna be a national anthem in about few in a few years. Um, is there is there a, is there a official theme music for the purge as well? Is, <laughs> does that does that exist? <laughs> I heard I heard it's a Kenny G song. That's what I heard. So I heard that's what. <laughs> yeah, I think I might have heard I might have heard it from somebody on Twitter. I think it was like at Rhodes Messiah, some shit like that. I, I might have seen yeah. that. Yeah. No, it's a real thing. In China, they play a Kenny G song to close stores and stuff like that and close malls. I'm not even making that up. I mean, I is, is that the official you don't have to go home, but you got to get the fuck up out of here music? Yeah, yeah. And walk into the, the river and disappear. Uh, so I, I want to share this, share the old news, which is like, uh, I know people remember the world just blew a historic opportunity to stop killer robots. That might be a good thing. I mean, the article seems like it was written by Skynet, but... um. Uh, but, or but, Mr. But, Skynet. Yeah, yeah, but hold on, but hold on tight. Uh, it's not, it's not like it's saying like, oh, we're gonna build. Now we get to build call the robots and murder everybody. It's not saying that. T eight hundred. What, what it is saying, I'm gonna, okay, we're gonna talk about is pretty much a lot of news came out of the United Nations Disarmament Committee held in Geneva last month, pretty much. Uh, the committee spent eight years. I mean, this is eight years. It didn't come out of nowhere that they've been debating this. This is like intense debate about. Allowing artificial intelligence to locate, track, attack, and kill targets without human intervention. Yep. Uh, many countries want to see such weapon bans. Yep. But the UN group operates with consensus in several, several states, including the US, Russia, United Kingdom, and India, and Israel, while opposed to legal binding restrictions. So they I want mean, to at least we're seeing the United States and the uh, and the Russian Federation agree on something. Yeah, we want to kill each other with robots. That with no accountability. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't promise you that uh, I won't try to find the most efficient way to cease human life. <laughs> the rest of the world is like, we want the world to continue to exist. They're like, nah, we want Judgment Day. Thanks. Yeah, we want. Yeah, we want. We're on the social media built right now. Uh, so everyone's calling a car crash. Everyone's calling a complete failure, disaster. Uh, what happened? Everyone's saying it's a complete failure. What happened? Isn't it crazy how we live in a country that loves to try to lord its record on human rights over the entire world, but every single time given the opportunity to agree to not use the worst ways to end human life, the United States is like, ah, nah, nah, that, that's, that's not for us. That's, not, that's for you. These restrictions are for you, but never for us. Don't you see I'm trying to build lasers right now? You know, don't you see that? Um, so, in addition, a thousands of computer scientists and artificial intelligence researchers have signed pinches calling for a ban for autonomous weapons and pledge not to work on developing them. So, this is a cause and effect. Like, people notice what happened and people say, okay, bet. Well, I'm not going to make that shit then. Well, do you know what's going to happen? Yeah. <laughs> those computer scientists will be the first ones to have those weapons tested on them by the scientists <laughs> who did not sign the petition. <laughs> So hopefully those scientists who didn't sign are stupid. And, you and you bitch it. ass pacifist scientists that want to use your intelligence on making the world a better place. How dare you? 
that makes no sense. I don't like doing that. I'd rather just build things that eventually kill me. Um, I, I like that better, you know. So, uh, so, so this is what happened. So, so take note of that. So you know what you know what happened. The, the, those countries that said we're not going to build it, uh, and the countries that did say we're going to build it. You know what those countries that said they're going to build it, they they're building them shits right now. They're like, yo, put a gun on something. Put a yeah. gun on something right now. So, I mean, those Chinese nuclear reactors that we reported on on Tuesday yeah. show, right? I mean, yeah, yeah. you need enough energy to power them robots. I mean, how yeah. about the power of five suns? How about that? You know, so so you know, I'm gonna tell you how lazy this shit is. They're like dawn. This is dawn. This is dawn. M16s on fucking drones at this point. They're like, wow. Oh, but we were so, talking about that. How long ago? How long ago so look, were we talking about that? <laughs> Remember, so this is remember real... we had remember we had a robot that had like no torso. It was yeah, just yeah. like they had no I, what was it? It was no torso or had no head. Yeah, it was no like, torso. well, we know had why there's no, no head torso. there because they're gonna screw yeah. a, a fucking uh rifle or machine gun on there. So so Israeli defense company did exact that. They just took a normal ass drone and just put a fucking gun on it. I mean, it's like I mean word. I mean, doesn't that look like an idea a five-year-old came up with? <laughs> like they watched G.I. Joe a couple of times and it was like, well, uh, yeah, let's try this. I mean, it's, it's computer and, and, it look, and the thing is, when you look at it, it is so devoid of any kind of soul, um, any kind of humanity. Um, it's going to be the next Call of Duty. <laughs> It's gonna be next, it's gonna be a kill streak in the next Call of Duty. Uh, I bet you that. Um, now they already have that. They have they've already, already had that in, uh, in in Infinite Warfare. Um, they had uh, a weapon like that where it was just like a, an, a manned autonomous drone that flies over your shoulder and then kills anybody within range, like coming near you. But I, I thought it looks fancier than this shit. Uh, no, it's actually quite similar. Oh, okay. it's quite similar. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's good to know. So it's yeah. really firm. Unveils unmanned drone killer. So, uh, the smash drogan targets a Christian algorithm tracking while it's a new stabilization concept. Look at this shit. Is this unique a fucking drone stabilization way? concept? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're destabilizing uh, humanity with this, but uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. So, the concept has completed live firing testing. We're going to show you clips of that. Um, the smart shooter. CEO told the outlet that the technology can be used against land, air, and sea-based targets. Explain that keeping its weight low helped the company achieve endurance and course targets. Um, you know who else it heavy... could target? It? You know who else it could target? Smart shooter CEO Michael Moore. <laughs> 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 it could target. It could target him too. So unfortunately, the U.S. Marines and the, the same peak co countries that were against autonomous yep. weapons. Yeah, they ordered unspecified number of smash two two thousand. I mean, this doesn't this shit sound like the fucking Terminator movie, movies? <laughs> like you actually called it the Smash two thousand? Just call it the T eight hundred. Like, let's be real. That this is what you really want. So we're gonna play a clip. I don't want to. I want if I play. If oh, I play oh, we this got video, it. No, we got it. We got it. We got it. We, See, we're being told that you know lithium battery battery technology is a problem, right? Did you catch that? That oh, the, yeah. the kind yeah. that the, how, what they're using the lithium battery technology yeah. for. Now we're being told that you know there's an issue with you know digging the cobalt out of the ground. We got you know the the young African children. Yeah, we you know, kill those digging. African children. We kill those African children to mine lithium so we can put it in this to kill more people. So that's the only way it works. But it if you work. kill enough of the children, they won't be able to mine the lithium anymore. <laughs> right? Yeah, I think that's the plan. I think that's the plan they have right here. So I want to I want to I want to play this clip right here. Um this action packed clip of like one dude, all this to kill one dude. Keep in mind, this is to kill one dude in this video. The most unlucky man in history. I think the I think the intro was part of that. Israeli-based <laughs> smart shooter company revealed on Monday a new gun-carrying drone that can carry and fire assault rifles. 
As noted by the company, the new system is called the Smash Dragon and it is an armed drone system incorporating smart shooters it does sound like a kill she can call a duty. technology that ensures precise target elimination. <laughs> Presented by I mean, I think the kill streak, like you said, I think the kill streak was first, and then they saw the kill streak. Yeah, it was make it real life. The yep. company for the first art time, life, life imitates art. is an advanced robotic weaponry payload that can be mounted on different drones and other unmanned aerial platforms. It can incorporate various types you got of assault rifles, playing video games on you. 40 millimeters, and other <laughs> You imagine this starts flying <laughs> at you? Oh like my god! Allowing long mission endurance. Smash. Is that a movie shoot? Is it a movie shoot? Pa, 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 pa. The yeah, it is a movie shoot. Yeah, we're shooting the uh, the final <laughs> scene of your life. Look at that! Look at look how it just. Look how it just changes. Oh my God. Target acquisition and tracking algorithms as well as sophisticated computer vision capabilities. It looks mad shabby. Oh, you saw, you see how they call it ASIS, right? Like we don't know that it's some terrorist ISIS shit. There's some terrorist shit too. Benefits while engaging targets from the air. Holy crap. The system successfully completed live firing tests and is currently under advanced stages of development. It don't look advanced at all. Look at this cute shit. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for making something that can murder people from afar. I mean, we're going to need a lot of those candles. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> so, so there you have it. You have countries who are like uh, running, running through the gates right now, trying to make the most shabbiest things with guns attached to it that they can fly far away and kill you with. Um, so... I don't know. I, I'm not sure what war they think is happening. That we need these kind of things. Uh, maybe it's I just mean, as long as there are human beings that are still alive that can be killed, uh, these things are necessary. <laughs> you know, just mind your business, and then like you know, you have. Could like, you imagine? Could you imagine if like the next version of the Rona wipes out 99 percent of the population? You know what would be happening? They would what? still be looking to protect weapons researchers. So that they can develop even better weapons. Now there are only like you know thirty thousand people left on the planet, right? <laughs> but man, we still we still need that 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 bleeding edge weapon technology. Yeah, we need to be ahead of the curve in the next war of the next fifteen the other fifteen thousand people. You know, we need to fight those people. Now the other twenty nine thousand people, because you know it won't <laughs> be it won't be you know good enough until there's just one person left on the planet who has all the money and all the yeah. weapons. You know? Yeah, I mean, there, there's no one to compare them against, so they're also the poorest pers person on the planet. But you know, <laughs> you know, uh, I don't know, man. We, we, I mean, we we've seen so many people, especially like the homeless guys on the subway, talking about the end is nigh, and we yeah. laughed them off, and then like, yeah. and now we're the formerly homeless guys yeah. that are saying the end is nigh <laughs> with some future stuff. Yeah, that's definitely some future stuff. So you can follow us on Black Power Magic Hour on Twitter and another dystopian place, Facebook. And you also can follow us on Twitch, Discord, and Dr. Evil Genius. He's talking shit and playing games with Dr. Evil Genius on Twitch, Discord, YouTube, and Act TV. YouTube has 62,000 subscribers, so catch us there. And that's some future stuff.